I've been reading a lot of books lately, specifically in the entrepreneurship and marketing categories, but those books can get really expensive, sometimes 20 to 30 dollars each. So today I'm going to show you the app that's going to unlock thousands of ebooks and audiobooks completely for free that you can read on any device, your phone, your tablet, your computer, your Kindle. So let's get into it. If you're on this video, you're probably starting to read a lot more books yourself and the price just keeps ticking higher and higher the more you buy and the more you read. But there's a better way. With the app Libby, you can get digital access to your local library's archive. I'm talking ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, the whole gambit, you can find it and it's completely free. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can create an account, how you can start downloading books today and use them on any device. The great part about the Libby app is that you can download up to 60 titles at one time. You can place holds on another 30 and you can rent the content for up to 21 days. So let's walk through the process of downloading Libby and downloading your first book. If you've got a library card, you're already off to a head start. But if not, that's totally fine. You can click that I don't have a library card and have it allow you to use your location to find the nearest local library that will offer you a digital library card. So you'll see here that I've scrolled around, found the local library system and I've clicked join. Now I'm gonna click that I would like a card here and it's gonna ask me to confirm my phone number and contact information before they generate me an actual library card. So once you've gotten your confirmation text message, you add it into the Libby app, you will be confirmed and ready to go, which means you've got access to your entire library's digital content. So let's go through the process of finding a book, downloading it and adding it to all of your devices. All right, so let's say I'm going to look for a book by Peter Thiel. Go ahead and search here. You'll see here zero to one. So let's go ahead and select that book. So I'll click borrow. You'll see all the information pertaining to it, what you're borrowing, which library you're borrowing from, phone number attached to your loan. And then it will say how many loans you've used, how many holds you've used and how many days you're borrowing for. Let's go ahead and click borrow and you'll get this little menu. Go to shelf or keep browsing. So I'm gonna go to my shelf here and you'll see all of the books that I'm currently reading or currently have borrowed. So let's go through the process of how to get this on your devices. The way we're gonna do that is through the Kindle app. So you don't actually need to own a Kindle in order to create an account. Most of you probably already have an Amazon account. You'll just go to the Kindle website and create an account there. That's what's gonna allow you to download the book from Libby and read it on all of your devices. So let's go through that process. So here we've got Zero to One by Peter Thiel. I'm gonna click Read with Kindle. What it's gonna do is it's gonna log into my Amazon account. I'm gonna click this button over here on the right that says Get Library Book. So now what that means is no matter what device you log on to, that has the Kindle app, you are gonna have access to that book. If you have the Kindle app on your iPhone, the book will be there. If you have it on your iPad, the book will be there. If you open up your Kindle, the book will be there. You can even log in on a web browser and read there. And the awesome thing about that is it remembers your place. So if you read a few pages on your phone, the next time you open your Kindle or your tablet, it's going to remember where you last left off. Once you've opened it up on your phone or on your Kindle, it'll actually give you a prompt asking if you wanna to jump to the spot where you last were. So that is really all there is to it. You can see just how simple it is to create your account, add your phone number to get access to your local library and start downloading books right away. You can literally complete this process in probably less than five minutes. The great part is once you've found some of the books that you wanna read, you can have them on your iPhone, your tablet, your Kindle, and your computer within seconds. This is by far the best way that I've found that you can download content from your local library and use it on all your devices. I hope you'll try it out. Let me know if you've created an account and if you started reading some new books, I'd love to hear what you're reading in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.